Are you sick of Control Airden yet? Well, too bad because I got more of it. <laughs> and we're going up against an Armor Henselt, I believe. He go, he's going first, which is really nice, but at the same time, it's not very good. Uh, you know, everything is not Jobu because uh, any weather that I'm going to play is either going to negatively affect me or be completely useless because of all of his armor. So he plays out this guy. Great opportunity for muscle, which I do not have. Actually, would muscle be a good opportunity, you say? Okay. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking about using my lock on either one of these units, but it's not that effective. I don't think I play it. Yeah, I don't play it. I don't think that's the best option there. I go for Woodland Spirit instead. I can start hitting that uh, that banner dude with my fog and get the Woodland Spirit out. I get the fog lit out. Start getting that high tempo play. He plays out his weather clear. Oh man, weather clear. Then I just play out the play out the frost because who cares? Uh, I know I'm going to have a guaranteed target that's going to be constantly whittling down. Then he plays out his freaking Sile to play a Thunderbolt. Like, he's just countering all of my options here, and it's not looking good for me. I make a mistake here. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was not smart. I play out a second weather. That would have been an easy pass for him. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? 12 points. I guess I could pass that. But he gets an easy pass. And I go one card down. That was not a good play. What I should have done instead is use my uh, Airden to pull out a, uh, a Wild Hunt Rider on the melee round. Because that not only gives me 5 plus 9, but it also takes a little bit more on this guy per turn. Uh, so that was a mistake. Thankfully, I didn't get punished in this situation. If I was playing at the highest uh, echelons of the rank ladder, I probably would have gone past on there, though. So don't take that as a good example of how to play. I mean, for me specifically, I should not have played a another weather there. That was a mistake. Now I do the Wild Hunt Rider. I should have done that before. Put it on Sile. Which I guess is fine. I don't know. Next, I'm going to be looking to Drowner, this drummer boy, into the range row. He plays out a super high tempo play with his Dunbanner Heavy Cavalry. Heavy Heavy Calvary? Yeah. He still passed me on tempo, though. This could have been another relatively easy pass for him as well. Is it? Is this an easy pass for him? You know what? Not necessarily. Wow. He plays out a freaking trout. He plays it, he plays it late enough, too, so that he guarantees value on all three rows. So I'm looking for a mage here. I do actually happen to pay, uh, play into it, a Baya. I get really lucky. I clear that weather, and I just barely get to the point where we are tied. Then he plays out this freaking Cryonex, which is insane. He has a, just a little bit of armor to kind of dampen the blow a little bit. And I have a lot of one-strength units that kind of dampen the blow on my side a little bit. But in the end, I still go 20 points down. Man, that was a 20-point play. That is insane. That was a 20 point play. So I do the thing last game where I uh, I play my spy when I'm obviously losing. I even pull into the same exact card of card take, uh, caretaker. And he doesn't need to play any cards at this point, so he passes. Uh, in this situation, I'm just playing out. I know his average tempo per play is going to be much higher than mine. So that when we go into round two, he's not actually going to be able to bleed me out much. In fact, I'm going to bleed him out because my plays are low tempo and not that valuable. And I should be able to just barely catch up to him. So I'm never going to be in this, op this situation in which playing a spy to try and uh, limit the amount that I'm overplaying is going to be a thing. So instead, I just go for the deck thinning option, which I think is fine. Maybe I'm maybe I'm misunderstanding though. So I make I go for the risky play. I go for the risky play, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Channeling minor Mogwai and go for. I watched a lot of him over the weekend, and now every time I want to say, uh, I want to keep saying, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so uh, I go for the risky play here, and I try and actually pass him, which I think is kind of silly. I was trying to, I counted up the exact points I needed to pass this round and Ekimara was not going to cut it. So instead I go for this dude here. 
this wyvern and just barely pass it by one point and go down one card. Okay, so that why did I do that, right? Uh, so my the single biggest thought in my head here is that I want him to play hence out. He has not played hence out. If he manages to get in control of round two, and then he gets to the point where he has one card left in his hand, and then hence out, I lose the game because then he'll play that one card. And then he'll hence out the next card and pull the other two from out from his deck. And like literally almost nothing in the game can beat that. Very nearly nothing else. Ever, any other one card in the game can beat that. Except maybe Tibor. And your opponent doesn't have any card left to draw. Maybe Tibor in that situation. But otherwise, I'm like, I need to get him to play hence out out here. Or else I will lose. So I'm looking through his deck. I'm trying to, I'm looking through his graveyard rather. I'm looking for a caretaker target. So even though that was a bit of a risky play, it did actually manage to pay off. I got in control of round two, which is exactly what I wanted. So maybe playing this by there was not such a bad idea. I think I got a little bit lucky there because I did only win by a single point. And also he could have passed on me no, numerous times and punched me pretty hard. But anyway, uh, but then again, if he gives up the control round one, then I can do exactly what I'm trying to do now, which is bleed him out. So I go for what I think is the best option. Now, caretakering. Uh, typically, you want to caretaker out a heavy cavalry and try and hit, uh, hit like his troll armor or his sanus armor or something like that. But I'm just looking to try and uh, trying to make this round go as long as possible. So I go for immediately for this lock because it's not only doing the three damage, it's also doing the four damage on the armor because he's not going to want to take it from this unit. And also, it's going to take away the four. Uh, it's taking away four from what he's going to boost after the armor gets taken from him. So it's like a three pronged effect there. I'm, I just I forked him like with an actual fork. With, you know, the three prongs. Although maybe most forks have four prongs, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so he goes for the armor take on that anyway. But at the very least, I took away eight damage. I did eight plus five is 13. So I did it's a 13 point silver, which is good enough. Then I go for the consume on this just to set up my carryover. He kind of, he hovered over it for like half a second. But then he went for this play instead. And now I'm going to go for the drowner. Because I need him to play one more card. I have a little bit of carryover. Maybe I can win off that. I need him to either play this last card or I need him to play Henselt. <laughs> because in this situation, if it's Henselt plus one other card, that's just, uh, it's like playing one, two, three, four cards. There's only two cards. So it's insane. So I need to get rid of this. So he played, thankfully for me, he plays out Henselt. He pulls out all of his heavy calories, I guess, because it doesn't think he's going to get much use out of them in the future. So he plays them out now. I forced him to overplay by 14 points. And at the same time, I have carryover. Actually, it was. 16 points and at the same time i eliminate his hands out combo and i hope i'm not talking too fast here i've done so many recordings today that by this point i just want to end <laughs> basically i'm in the i'm in the zone man i'm in the mod review zone here so he plays out the stance he plays out this guy uh he didn't have any more heavy calories to take advantage of the seven strength or the seven armor so I go for Caretaker, I use my Renew, I pull out the Caretaker, I grab that heavy calorie, I steal that armor, I win the game. And that's how, it done. that's how it's done. He actually managed to use this to reset it, but... Oh man, I won by a single point. I won by a single point in round one, and then I win it by a single point round three. <laughs> oh man, for him it must be such a feels bad man. To lose by a single point in two two rounds out of one match. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. So looking back over this video, right? Oh. Uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> My throat hurts so much. And I had to re-record re the first one like four times. Anyway, so in the first in the first round, I, I played a kind of like, oh, I'm just gonna play this spy out and then I'm gonna throw it into my deck and then we're gonna go on. I even tricked myself. Right, because I was thinking, why am I playing the spy there if I'm not actually going to use it for its intended purpose, which is to, uh, you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, instead, <laughs> uh, I was like, "Whoop, you thought," and I go and I try and I actually win the round because I'm able to pass him by one strength with the help of my weather and with the help of counting how many points exactly that I needed, and I got control of round two. It also helped that I went second, which allowed me to only go one card down instead of two cards down. But that allowed me get, to get in control of round two and going to round two. What that allowed... Oh, I guess he had a Stannis left. Stannis was his last card in his hand that he didn't want to play. Which makes sense. Yeah, that was a good play. He, he played... So I got him to play Hensel, which effectively took away a large part of his combo. Uh, effectively, anyway. Because it means he doesn't get to play, uh, you know, two copies of one card or whatever it is. Or even just one copy of one card. 
Uh, so that cu- that cut his combo in half. I was able to get him to play out all of his valuable cards while I didn't actually play anything that valuable. In fact, I got an Ekimar out on the board, which actually carried over to this round, which won me this round. So all I had was a Caretaker, right? Yeah, all I had was Renew and a Caretaker. And then he had Stennis, and then he had two cards left. Yeah, so even though I came into this round one card down, right? Let's double check that. Yeah, I went to that round one card down, but because I had an Ekimara on the on the on the board on the beard on the board, I was able to make up for that difference using my carryover effectively. And I made sure to switch out the Kalina Harpy because there's no way this can be win the win me the game. And then I played the Renew. So there we go. That is it. That's one, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four. Four four VOD reviews in one day. There we go. All one after the other. And that makes zero sense to you if you didn't watch the previous ones. But it doesn't matter. You should, though. They're pretty good. I mean, they're okay. One of them definitely wasn't that okay. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.